Well, hello class, and welcome to week three of BACC 635 Advanced Accounting Theory. Hope that each of you are having a great week so far. Hopefully your Monday is off to a good start and your week is off to a good start. I bring you greetings from Kansas City, Missouri, where I am currently participating in a seminar conference this week. So my uh, background setting is a little bit different than usual, and this video quality may be a little bit different depending on the quality of the hotel's internet uh, service and connections. So I apologize if it's a little fuzzier than usual, but I uh, hope that you're having a good week and hopefully things are off to a good start for you. This week as we dive into content for week three of our course, we're going to be examining the topic of international accounting standards, specifically looking at the work of the ISB, the International Accounting Standards Board, and its predecessor, the ISC, or the International Accounting Standards Committee. We're going to explore a variety of different issues this week as we look at some of the dynamics, the lay of the land, and the fundamentals of international accounting standards, and more specifically as we dive into some of the complexities that surround IFRS convergence, that is specifically the process of how U.S. GAAP and IFRS, or International Financial Reporting Standards, are seeking to converge or to become more similar, to become uh, more aligned in terms of their treatment of a variety of different accounting issues over time. I want want you to understand as you journey through the content this week, and hopefully you'll get a clear sense of that as you read through the content from the chapter and explore some of the issues we're going to take a look at, that there are a number of advantages to convergence. There are also a number of challenges that remain to convergence, and you'll explore those as you journey through the content this week. Specifically, we're going to focus in on four particular learning objectives and the material that we journey through. Number one, you're going to examine the difference not only in terms of basic foundational differences, but some of the more advanced areas that are related to differences in the accounting treatment of various transactions and various economic events under IFRS versus U.S. GAAP. Secondly, you're also learn to describe the roles of the International Accounting Standards Board and its various auxiliaries, as well as the organizations that support and contribute to the work of the ISB. You'll also learn to identify the premise by behind convergence between the work of the ISB and the FASB, and then you'll identify and examine some of the issues related to the standards overload problem. We have a standards overload problem not only here in the United States, but as you'll once again see throughout this chapter, we deal with that on a global basis as well. And it even becomes enhanced in a variety of contexts around the world, where you have countries that are dealing with particular challenges in which they're not really standing in need of a super complex set of accounting standards. If you're dealing with a particular national context in which most of your folks have either limited literacy or they're just dealing with basically survival scenarios, they're not really in need of the full robust set of accounting standards that we see in the form of U.S. GAAP or that we see in some other national jurisdictions. That doesn't mean they don't need accounting standards, but what it does mean is in certain context trying to force through a very complex, very complicated, very sophisticated set of accounting standards that you're asking small businesses and struggling developing businesses to comply with can needlessly and excessively complicate the picture. That's one of many issues that we'll explore together as we look at some of the factors that surround convergence. We're not saying that it's not a good thing where we can converge, but rather what I want you to understand and to be able to explore this week are some of the more complicated, controversial, and challenging issues that are related to the issue of convergence and to some of the challenges that we confront as a profession related to that. This week you're going to journey through uh, again some familiar assignments. You'll first have your week three discussion assignment and for this you're going to take part in a little bit of a debate discussion in the forum looking at the advantages and disadvantages that come with harmonization between U.S. GAAP and IFRS. I want you to think through that question analytically, comparing and contrasting both sets of standards and the advantages that could come if we were able to fully converge, as well as some of the potential disadvantages that could accompany that as well. Secondly, you'll also complete the week three case and unit assignment, looking specifically at debate 3-1, principles of consolidation. 
You'll summarize the arguments that are involved with that debate, formulate your own position, and then you'll also integrate with your response some peer-reviewed or professional literature. Again, those peer-reviewed or professional journal articles that will help inform and expand your understanding of the issues that are involved. Lastly, you'll also complete the Week 3 ASC research assignment, taking a look this week at FASB ASC Case 3-2, examining the share-based payment and the FASB ASC's treatment of share-based payments. Again, you'll look up the guidance in the Accounting Standards Codification and find some relevant peer-reviewed or professional journal articles that can help enhance your understanding of that and then have relevance to how that particular standard is going to be carried out in practice. I hope that each of you have an enjoyable experience as you journey through the content this week. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out and let me know. You can reach me by email email at jake.brock at ucumberlands.edu. With that, thanks for watching, and I wish each of you a wonderful week ahead.